Solar System, Asteroids, Part 2 of 2. For Vesta is the second most massive body in the main asteroid belt, accounting for almost 9% of the total mass of all asteroids. NASA's Dawn spacecraft circled Vesta from July 16, 2011 until September 5, 2012. On the right, the shadowy outlines of the terrain in Vesta's northern region are visible in this image from NASA's Dawn spacecraft as it departed the giant asteroid. The asteroid was named Vesta after the goddess of the hearth and household in Roman mythology. Two forty-three Ida is the second asteroid visited by a spacecraft and the first found to have its own moon. Located in the main belt between Mars and Jupiter, Ida is one of the Coronis family of asteroids, which are thought to be the debris of an ancient collision between two larger objects. It is covered in craters and a deep layer of regolith, pulverized rock. Ida is an S-type asteroid, composed mainly of silicate rock. Named for a nymph who raised the infant Zeus. Ida is also the name of a mountain on the island of Crete, the location of the cave where Zeus was reared. Dactyl is named for a group of mythological beings who lived on Mount Ida, where the infant Zeus was hidden and raised, according to some accounts, by the nymph Ida. For 3 3 Eros is famous as the first asteroid to be orbited by a spacecraft, and the first asteroid to have a spacecraft land on it. But Eros was important to astronomers as far back as 1898 when it became the first near-Earth asteroid, NEA, to be discovered. Eros is an S-type asteroid, the most common type in the inner asteroid belt. It's a typical member of the Amors group of NEAs. The asteroid was given a male name, Eros, son of Mercury and Venus and god of love in Greek mythology. In 2005, 25143 Atakawa became the first asteroid from which samples were captured and brought to Earth for analysis. The Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa, Japanese for Falcon, touched down twice on the asteroid and collected a small amount of dust. It delivered the sample to Earth on June 13, 2010. Hayabusa's close-up observations of the asteroid and the subsequent analysis of its dust in labs on Earth support the conclusion that Itakawa is part of what remains from a much larger object that was shattered by a collision. The dust also confirms that S-type asteroids like Itakawa are the source of the most common kind of meteorite found on Earth, the ordinary chondrite. The asteroid was named for Hideo Itakawa, 1912-1999, who is regarded as the father of Japanese rocketry. He was an aerospace engineer who initiated Japan's first launch tests of the solid rocket series called Pencil in 1955. Asteroid Didymos and its small moonlet Dimorphos make up what's called a binary asteroid system, meaning the small moon, Dimorphos, orbits the larger body, Didymos. The two asteroids are not a threat to Earth, but because they do pass relatively close to Earth, they were chosen as the target for NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART, mission, the agency's first mission to test planetary defense technology. The technology could one day be used to deflect hazardous asteroids on a collision course with Earth. Asteroid Didymos, bottom left, and its moonlet, Dimorphos, about 2.5 minutes before DART impacted Dimorphos on September 26, 2022. The image was taken by DART's Draco imager from a distance of 920 kilometers. Asteroid Moonlet Dimorphos as seen by the DART spacecraft 11 seconds before impact. DART's onboard Draco imager captured this image from a distance of 68 kilometers. Dimorphos is roughly 160 meters in length. Didymos, which means twin in Greek, was discovered on April 11, 1996.
The proper name for the satellite Didymos B comes from the word Dimorphos, Greek for, having two forms. 101955 Bennu is a near-Earth asteroid. The name refers to the ancient Egyptian mythological bird associated with the sun, creation, and rebirth. On October 20, 2020, NASA's OSIRIS-RX spacecraft successfully descended to the surface of asteroid Bennu and collected rocky material samples. On May 10, 2021, OSIRIS-RX is headed to Earth to deliver the asteroid sample on September 24, 2023. Bennu is relatively close to Earth, it's really old and well-preserved. It might even help us learn how to preserve life by keeping near-Earth asteroids at bay. Vesta, Ceres, and Luna Size Comparison This composite image shows the comparative sizes of nine asteroids.